Hey, what's going on guys? What we're talking about today is if someone has used one of your videos on their channel, that actually just happened to me. And I'm gonna show you how to deal with this, what you should do. I, I never thought it would happen to me, honestly, but someone did use one of my videos and I actually took a poll on my community page. I said, as a YouTube creator, has anyone ever used any of your YouTube videos without your permission? 44 votes came through. 32% uh, said yes, and 68% said no. Some of you guys have experienced this, but I think there's a lot of people out there that really don't know where to find out if someone has used one of their videos. So really what happens first, let's just say someone goes on your channel, downloads your video, which they can do. They download the video, they upload it onto their channel. The problem that lies is that you will not be aware that they did this unless someone told you, right? So what happens is YouTube picks up on videos that are considered copyright. They actually go through the computer system, but YouTube doesn't notify you personally. They don't say, hey, someone copied your video. It actually is in a specific place on YouTube, and I'm gonna show you where it's at. And I don't think a lot of people are aware of this, but I'm gonna show you where it's at and what you need to do to deal with this. So here we go, pay attention. Okay, from your channel homepage, you wanna be on a laptop or a computer to do this. I don't recommend being on the phone. You could do it through Google Chrome or Safari. Put it in desktop mode, request desktop site, but I recommend using a laptop or a computer. Go to your YouTube channel. You're gonna click on Customize Channel. Okay, Customize Channel. Now, on the left side, you have Dashboard, Content, Playlist, Analytics, Comments, Subtitles, and right here, boom, Copyright. All right, so this is where you'll find a video that maybe someone has copied one of your videos, downloaded one of your videos, and they put it on their channel. Now, what happens is, YouTube will let you know how much of a percent of your video is being used. In this case, 100% of my video is being used. They tell you the video title, how many views they got, they put the date, and they actually link the channel so you can go right to the channel. The channel is called Shadow Stocks. And over here on the right, it says move the archive, request video removal, or contact the channel. Now, I have looked at the channel, I have looked at the video. The person downloaded one of my YouTube Shorts videos in hopes that they would also gain more views. The channel did not ask me to use the video and that's really why I'm upset. I wouldn't be so upset if the person actually said, hey CJ, do you mind if I use one of your videos or a portion of your videos? And I would be totally fine with that. But the person literally just copied the entire video downloaded it and uploaded it to their channel. That's not how I roll on YouTube. So in this case, I follow through with requesting a video removal. So if that's what you wanna do, you would click on this caution with the exclamation point sign and click on that. Before I do that, I did wanna show you here, there's a little mail icon, it says contact channel. You can click on that and it will say subject copyright notification regarding the video title. And then you put your email address and what it's gonna do is gonna say, hi, the channel name, another YouTube channel noticed their content in the video you uploaded, it's saying the channel's video and then my video. If you use another channel's content without permission, they may ask you to remove your video. Removal results in a copyright strike against your account. The channel has provided its email in case you'd like to start a conversation and you can put your email in there to talk to the channel you want to do this a little more peacefully but I'm going to request a video removal by clicking on the caution sign and this is how you do it okay number one videos requested for removal remember that not all copyright content is eligible for removal some videos are protected by fair use and similar laws this is not a fair use case because this is my entire video being used. I don't need to add a video. Here's the infringing video right here. The number two, copyright owner. Physical address and phone number will remain confidential unless requested as part of a lawsuit. If YouTube is required to share information, we will notify you before doing so. Keep in mind that copyright takedown requests may also be sent by a legal representative, but they'll have to submit a takedown request from their own account affected party myself 
or my company organization. Okay, relationship to the copyright content would be self, country, whatever country you signed up with YouTube, my case, United States. Name of the copyright owner, you need to put your name, whatever you signed up with Google, you need to put that entire name. Phone number is required, you need to put your phone number. Your email address is already in there, it's required, it's already put in automatically. If you want a secondary email, you can do that. Your street address is required. City required, state required, and zip code. After you're done section two, section two is basically everything that you signed up with YouTube, Google account. Number three, removal options and agreements. Removal timing, you can do scheduled, send a seven day notice. Once the request is validated, YouTube gives the uploader seven days to remove the video and avoid a copyright strike. If they don't, the video is removed after seven days. Or standard request removal now. These removals can lead to a copyright strike. YouTube process the video removal after validating the request. I would be a nice guy and say, let me send a seven day notice, but you know what? This channel didn't give me a seven day notice of anything, no communication, no credit to my channel at all. And to me, that's complete disrespect. I'm going to request the removal right now. Legal agreements, I have good faith to believe the use of the material in the manner complained of is not authorized by the copyright owner, its agents or law, check that. The information in this notification is accurate and under penalty of perjury, I am the owner or an agent authorized to act on behalf of the owner of an exclusive right that is allegedly infringed. Check that. I understand that abuse of this tool, such as submitting removal requests for a content I do not own, may result in termination of my YouTube account. This is serious, guys, who so don't just do this for any video. I recommend that you only do it to the ones that YouTube finds. So if you go back up, it says add a video. So you can actually add a video that you find on your own instead of YouTube finding it for you. But if you do that, you just be very careful that it is 100% your video, okay? You're going to have to put the type of work, the song, software, artwork, whatever it is, and the actual URL of the video. All right, signature, type your name in there. Make sure your signature contains your full legal name, which is usually your first and last as stated on a government issue ID. YouTube won't be able to process your request without this info. First and last name, same thing you signed up for Google, YouTube. At the very top, it says submit. Click on the blue button, submit. YouTube will now process this request. It doesn't mean it's going to happen right away. It's going to happen pretty quickly, but the video won't be taken down from that channel probably until a few days, and they will also let you know. Now, if you click on removal request, this shows that this is a request to remove this video. And once the video is taken down, it says it's in progress under review. Okay, so if everything went through fine, you'll get an email letting you know the video was taken down. But if you wanted to double check, go back in the copyright, click on removal request, and there it is. It says resolve video removed. So the video is gone off of this channel, and the person probably received a strike for copyright. And that's how you do it. Like, subscribe, and comment, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace!